Hello friends, welcome to our channel drittleconnect.com. Okay, so in this session we will discuss some practice questions for JavaScript, which are basically asked uh, as tricky questions inside your interview. Okay, so it's a basically on the pure JavaScript. Okay, so we will uh, have some question. So let's start with question one. Okay. So you can see in console. OK. OK, so basically we have a function demo. OK, and we have a constant variable v1 equal to v2 equal to 23. And uh, we have called this as demo. OK, now we have used the console log type of v1 this variable and type of v2. So what will be the output for these two console? So guess that, okay, and we will discuss the answer, okay. So if we press the enter, you can see the type of v1 we are getting undefined, whereas the type of v2 we are getting number. That means vm v1 is not accessible outside this scope of function demo okay whereas b2 is b2 is available okay so if you will write v1 you will get v1 is not undefined and if you will have v2 you will get value of assigned value of v2 okay that means this v2 is behaving as a global variable here okay and v1 is constant which is inside the scope of demo okay so this is the question one okay now we come for the question two see basically a equal to two and b equal to three now we will have written in like this a b c and here b comma a so what will be the output in a b and c if you will write like this okay so let's see the result see we are getting three two and undefined that means a is containing three and b is containing two and c is undefined that means a will get the value whatever in the first index of this one we will get the value whatever the second index and the c will get nothing because there is no third one inside here okay so this is the question two now we come for the question three We have a method demo, okay, and we have a variable here let a equal to 20. It will return a function, and the function will return a plus plus, okay. So, first here, what we did, we have created a demo d1, okay, and now we have consoled the d1 four times, okay. Then, after we have created the d2, okay, second instance. And then we have console used d1, d2, and again d1. So what will be the output? So you can say, see, console d1, d, d1, d1, d1. These all will give incrementing value. First, it will 20. It will give 20 because increment is later before returning it. Okay. So you will get 20. Then again 21, 22, 23. And here it is also T1, then it will be 24. And here we have D2. Okay, that means it will be initialized with 20. Second instance is there. And again, D1, which is the first instance. Okay, so it will give 25. Okay, so 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, then 20, then 25. Okay. So this is the third question. Okay. 
now we will have fourth question we have a method demo okay and uh, we have a let a 10 if a is greater than 0 a equal to a plus 3 return a so what will be in console if we we'll call this method okay so answer is 13 that means let is working inside this scope so it will add this value and return with a okay now we will go for the type 4 question is same the only thing is that we have written let here again okay so what do what it will do okay let's see reference error cannot access a before initialization okay that means you can't access here a before initialization okay that means this will throw error okay because let will have a personal scope inside this one block scope okay now we will come for the next question that is similar to that one but some differences there okay we have used where where okay and now what we will be the output for this one the question is similar to last one but the thing is only difference with where let it converted to where here so what will be the output so it will give 13 because where will not throw error that is called hosting issue okay now coming to the next question we have a variable a equal to 2 we are 10 and b equal to 20 now what we have to do we have to swap this value means b will contain 10 and a will contain 20 but the thing is that we don't have to use the third variable without using the third variable we have to achieve this one so how can we do that okay so for that we will use the concept of destructing object inside javascript okay so you can write like this a comma b equal to b comma a that means a will assign the value of b and b will assign the value of a okay now a will have 20 and b will have 10 okay now coming to the next question that is see we have an json object with name person one and his name is amit and address city kanpur state up now we have another person p2 which are creating the copy of this object person one with the help of spread operator okay now what we are doing we are changing the name of p2 person to ram person to address we are changing city to lucknow so what will be the output in person one dot name and person dot one dot address dot city so what will be the output for person one name and city you can say person one will name will be amit but the address city is not Kanpur. it's lucknow why this happening because it is not cloning in the deep okay so it's just keeping the reference of this object okay that means address will have the same a reference okay same reference of this object because this is separate object and this is separate object okay you are creating the clone but uh, it will a person two will refer to the another one object but uh, inside this one address will of, uh, point to the same reference for both person one and person two that's why if you will update either with person two or uh, person one it will give the same for both 
okay so in this session we have this much questions for right now okay we will uh, discuss more questions in next session okay subscribe our channel like this video okay thanks for watching